stay in line with dharma, it doesn't matter people get hurt, people blame you, people curse you, people punish you, nothing matters. As long as you are in line with dharma, you are free. Your conscience is clear, you have no fear. There is judgment day, there is nothing to judge. For example, you studied for your exam, you know, you know everything by heart. No matter what tough exam, you go fearless taking an exam. But you haven't studied or studied partially, you are nervous what kind of questions are asked, whether I will pass or fail. There is no fear. So I'm just giving simplified version of fear of death. Yes. Yeah, I'm not afraid of dying. I've been so close to getting killed so many times that uh, it, it, it doesn't bother me and I have a sense of, 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 of death. Um, um, what, what does bother me is regrets. Yes. Talk about regrets, how you deal with regrets. You know, especially I'm not 30 years old anymore. Yes. Things I should have done, things I did do that I shouldn't have done. The solution is regret is a sanskara. You know, this book I have a, about sanskara, impression in the mind. Regret, anger, fear, whatever is, is held within unconscious mind or chitta as called sanskaras. So you can bring it on the surface and resolve it. So that is removing the sanskara. In deep meditation, going to higher consciousness and bringing those experiences of regret on the surface and see that incident in a broader light and it loses its significance, you are free from sanskara. This is simplified version of it. Sanskaras, can, I can compare with animals, see, you don't see dairy animals, cows and buffaloes, water buffaloes, mm -hmm. but we have cows and buffaloes. You know, they have system, if you ever watch, they always go out and graze in the wild, you know. They eat everything, and they are sitting down, they hold the food inside, and they chew it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Eat twice because they have to be in the wild, fear of wild animals. So God made the system so they eat everything and hold in one stomach and then drink from that stomach in the sense that chew. If you see the animals, you know, farm animals, mm -hmm. they are always doing chewing, you know, mm -hmm. like that. And then goes to the real stomach. So, same way. We hold all the sanskaras inside, we bring them out and chew on it. <laughs> so I'm just... <laughs> and we clear that. So, that's just, so it is so easy. You know what prevents us from that? This is not for one person but for everyone. We do whatever we do. We don't listen. We don't observe. We don't see, we don't hear. We don't listen, like somebody gives advice, we don't listen. And we don't observe, we don't see. We become ignorant because we don't listen, we don't observe. And we do our thing our way. We can never change. And then what we do, we justify it. I'm doing this, this is the reason I'm doing it. So if you want to change, don't justify it. Face the ego, swallow the insult, listen to the advice, and then work on it. We don't change because of this. Because we are good at defending ourselves and justifying. And was, I found everyone, you know, just like somebody is doing the wrong thing, and always I'm curious how they think. They have everything figured out. They are doing perfectly right. They justify everything they are doing. I'm not doing yoga because of this, this, this. I'm not doing this because of this. They have perfect justification. So only way we awaken is face ourselves. How we face ourselves? This is said in scripture I put in the books. Look at your minute faults under magnifying glass. Okay. And others 
big glass, big falls, shrink them <laughs> so they look tiny. This would backfire if you look at your fault, if you are not ready, then you would hit yourself. I have so many faults. <laughs> this is not the right. With proper understanding, for introspection, look at your fault so that you can see what you are doing wrong. And you can forgive others if you ignore that big faults. Forgive them. Then you can, you know, forgive them and you can find peace. Mm -hmm. So this is the way. But most people, own fault, shrink them. Somebody's small fault, magnify it. And this is what creates problems in ego. So instead of justifying, this is the approach. <laughs>